getting to the pond just like any other day to feed we saw two big fish floating in the pond and the only thing that can come to the mind of a farmer is what is going on and the most frustrating thing is the size of the fish and the effort that has been put into raising them to this size you can see the size when compared to a cutlass they are way longer and even bigger than the cutlass and on the second day to our surprise we found another three dead fish floating in the pond and at this point i had to tell the guys we have to control and manage this situation as soon as possible and that's why in this video just like you know i'll be showing all the step by step um, we took to manage the situation and also how we treated and all and also updating you on the status of the fish currently so before going forward please remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and also use the bell icon please to stay notified when we release quality videos on the channel and without wasting much of our time let's go in order to get to the bottom of the matter we need to get to the bottom of the pond by pumping out the water and that's why you see us pumping over here but the funny thing with this pond is we have only female clarious catfish there and all the surrounding pond have no problem at this point you can see they are all doing well the fish is there we have no issues all the three ponds surrounding this particular pond lucky enough for us since it is one of our smaller ponds it is very easy for us to just empty the water fetch all the fishes and um, diagnose the situation precisely and use the opportunity to demod and bag um, the dike of the pond where um, the bag have turned before after closely observing the fish we collected from the pond it is evident that we have a fin rot disease issue on the farm and this you can see by the fin both the lateral fin and even the dorsal fin of the fish any parts where you have fin on the fish is affected and you can see this fourth we isolated here they are badly affected and it is not even advisable for us to return them back or treat them or even give them the chance since we we can just call them so we are calling them the set of fishes in this particular pond are very valuable to us because they are carefully selected female clarious catfish that we are keeping so we can use them for breeding purpose in the future so you can see the reason why we are going through all this stress to treat them and also care for them water is being pumped back into the pond because we need to return the fishes into that same pond after we are done treating them the first treatment given to the fish is the salt bath treatment and how you do this is you use sea salt we use sea salt on the farm not normal iodized salt so it is coarse it's different from normal iodized salt so you prepare a solution with water and you stir so it can dissolve remember it's um, rock like in nature uh, it's crystalline very very crystalline so you mix after mixing you pour on the fishes and you will immediately see the fish like they will be agitated because the salt will be um well working on their skin let's let's just simplify it that way and you can already see one escaped already into the pond well just for you to see how ash it is on them but we need to do this because it is a fungal infection the fin rot disease so you shouldn't let them stay long inside the salt bath and remember you can see i was just using my hand to measure i'm very cautious of the dosage in the water while preparing the solution and the second treatment we'll be giving the fish is use of drug and by drug i don't mean injecting them just like i was trying to do in this video anyway just catching cruise so the thing is you mix with the feed you use you can either use the sinking feed or you use the floating feed and you can see i'm mixing with even 2 mm 4 mm sinking this 4 mm and 2 mm sinking i'm using here for the other fish just to give them the dosage that is more like um, a preventive measure for the other ponds that we are not affected by the fin rot all this i'm doing and just spreading all these drugs i know i am very careful Careful of the dosage all these things come with experience when it comes to your tongue you might really really want to use 
a skill to do that we have a skill on the farm i'm the only one allowed to do this on the farm and this comes with years of experience so you mix some of you might be wondering why am i using sinking feed with water and the feed this is to dissolve the um, drug so that it can enter um, the um, pellet and after this you air dry so that it will get dry um, again before you give the fish on the farm so but for these particular ones we have the big ones the female clarias what we'll be using is the floating feed and this is 9 mm floating feed we use a combination of or even we use more of sinking we get to that on other videos so you do the same you put the drug you add water some people use oil or palm oil all you need is a um, liquid to dissolve the drugs and mix incorporate it well with the pellets before air drying start feeding them on the second day with the feed you mix with the drug and you can feed them from two to three days in our own case we only fed them with the feed for just two days and they were all okay so i'll be sharing their current status with you but before that i would like you to all preview this video if you are a returning viewer you should know by now that this is the first long form content i'll be making on fish we've done a lot of content on snary but we'll be going forward with more content on fishery but you know this pattern also is different from like the strict pattern of just educating you on um, livestock production if you want us to put more you more into what we do and if you want it to go in kind of a vlog i really have a lot of content coming up you wouldn't want to miss that and you already know what to expect in terms of the value we'll be giving on the channel we've been away for quite some time and sincerely i enjoy this kind of fish content pattern because it's more free than the rigid one we've been doing in the past so i want this process to be enjoyable for me as it is for you also so please your comments and all will be um, well appreciated i'll be looking forward to check your comments and all so i think we wasted your time on this let's go back to the actual content let me update you on the current status of the fish and going forward also if you haven't subscribed please remember to like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to stay notified for those juicy content both long form and short and this is the current status of the fish you can see they are very healthy now and even bigger quite bigger now with this one being the smallest uh, even this size are kind of the smallest we have and you can see them compared to the hybrid the big hybrid they are with in the bucket and look at the small fish also and see now this is a sample from the fish you can see it is now well gravid they are gravid now and we will start using them for production and that's it on this one till next time a peace